How would you like to learn five simple clues to help you decide whether or not you have a chronic pain condition called tension myositis syndrome, or TMS for short? TMS is a diagnosis coined by the late, great Dr. John Sarno. And if you do have TMS, this means that your chronic pain, while quite real, is stress-based. Tension in your mind and in your life is causing prolonged muscle tension, and that's what's causing your ongoing pain. And this is really good news because there's a way out and a way forward. You can cure TMS. Let's discuss. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, welcome, and let me introduce myself. I'm Laura Thornton, and I suffered from chronic pain for decades and then cured myself using the Mind-Body Connection back in 2016, when I also became the co-founder of the Pain Cure Clinic, and now I help others cure themselves. Now, before we get started, I wanna give you something to help you after you watch this video. It's our free workshop for curing TMS. The workshop will show you exactly how to apply the mind-body concepts that Dr. Sano likely introduced you to. And if you follow through, you should see some progress, as in some pain reduction in the first 30 days. You can access the workshop on our homepage at paincureclinic.us, and there's a link below. Okay, now let's get to these five clues for determining if you have TMS. Clue number one, you haven't injured yourself. I know this seems obvious, right? You just wake up one day with pain in your back or shoulder or knee, or the pain starts with something innocuous like bending over to pick up a dropped book or reaching up to grab a bowl from a shelf and bam, it feels like you were just hit by a truck, but you weren't. So clue number one is that your pain level doesn't match up with anything that happened to you physically. Clue number two, the pain has lasted longer than two months. Okay, so here's the interesting thing about clue number two. Even if you have injured yourself, say pulled a muscle or twisted an ankle, or taken a relatively minor fall, Dr. Sarno tells us that you should heal within a relatively short period of time. And Sarno went a step further to tell us that even after a bad accident with broken bones or other real injuries that may take longer than two months to heal, your pain should still not become chronic. So if you've been led to believe that your chronic knee pain is from a football injury that you sustained in college and you're now 45 years old, please rethink this. See if these clues lead you in a different direction to a mind-body solution. Clue number three, medical treatment hasn't worked. Especially if you've tried many medical treatments and even thrown in some alternative therapies like acupuncture over a period of time, months, or even years. For me, it was three decades of ups and downs, starting at age 15, before I discovered Dr. Sarno and tension myositis syndrome. What a light bulb moment that was. Now, I'm hoping you're not 30 years into this yet, my friends. But no matter how long you've been struggling, if you feel like you're on a medical merry-go-round, then you probably are. Clue number four, you have a perfectionist personality. Perfectionism manifests in a number of ways. There are classic perfectionists, sometimes called overachievers, goodists, also known as people pleasers, and worriers who may excessively ruminate about the past and or catastrophize about the future. Perfectionists often start out as straight A students and then become adults who exhaust themselves mentally and often physically as well, trying to be the perfect partner, son or daughter, mother or father, employer, neighbor, and on and on. If this sounds like you and you're also experiencing chronic pain or other symptoms, this is a big clue that you have TMS. Now, it's often hard to admit to ourselves that keeping everything buttoned up and everyone else happy is detrimental to our own well-being. 
But I caution you from personal experience with perfectionism, do not underestimate perfectionism's ability to keep you stressed, anxious, and trapped in a chronic pain loop. And clue number five, you have significant life stressors. Now we all have stress in our lives and you can't get it down to zero, but you can get your ongoing tension level below the chronic pain threshold. And the first place to start is to take an honest look at the significant stressors in your life right now. Typically they're related to jobs or money, relationships, maybe where you live, how you spend your time, and, and there are many more. The trap that a lot of us fall into sounds something like this. But don't most people hate their jobs? Or we've been married 30 years, I can't rock the boat now. Okay, but your chronic pain is sending a strong message that you need to pay attention to your stress level and at least consider making some practical life changes. So to recap the five clues that you may have TMS. Number one, you haven't injured yourself. Number two, the pain has persisted longer than two months. Number three, medical treatment hasn't worked. Number four, you have a perfectionist personality. And number five, you have significant life stressors. And one more important point. Some of you may truly not have any significant life stressors right now. Things are going pretty well. So why are you still in chronic pain? Please refer back to clue number four, a perfectionist personality. This was my last hurdle to get to chronic pain free for good. And it could be yours too. If you resonate with this content, if you're thinking to yourself right now, yeah, this sounds like me, and you wanna move forward, and of course you do, I have two suggestions. Number one, watch our video titled Five Quick TMS Hacks. You'll find it on our Pain Cure Clinic YouTube channel. And number two, a reminder about our free workshop for curing TMS. To grab it, just go to paincureclinic.us. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.